Do wasp traps really work? Let's find out. My friend has this problem with wasps. They're flying all around his house. They're even getting into the house. We found out where they're getting in from. They're underneath the soffit near the gutter. But the big problem here is the nest is not visible. So in this case, I can't just spray any wasp killer directly to the nest. Steel wool in the cracks didn't stop them. These wasp types appear to be yellow jackets. I'm trying to help them get rid of these unwanted visitors. First, we tried these spray cans of wasp killer. Well, they were only effective when they made direct contact with the wasps. Three cans later, the problem was still there. Next, we tested these three different styles of store-bought traps. But are they effective in trapping wasps? And even more than that, do they actually get rid of the whole colony? Let's find out. First up, this disposable trap by Rescue. There's an attractant inside the bag. Simply cut and pop the top, fill it with water, then hang it up. Alongside this trap, I'll use this common style reusable trap. This one is yellow and it looks like a beehive, so it's gotta work. It's probably more of an attractant to humans, but anyway, we'll give it a try. On this trap, I'm using water, a quarter cup of sugar, and a little dish soap. I'll hang these side by side in a head-to-head -head competition for a week and see who's the winner and whether or not these things are effective at all. After a week, if the bees are still there, I'll try a third style trap. This one is called the Fatal Funnel. But before we try it, let's check up on the two traps we placed near the wasp entrance. It's been eight days since I hung two bee traps up there. There's still lots of bees swarming. Let's see if there's any inside the traps. I know, I just called them bees, but they're really not. These are yellow jackets, which are a type of a wasp. This style didn't do too bad. I count 17 yellow jackets. Yellow jackets, by the way, as opposed to other wasps, have black antennas. The rescue trap being placed for the exact length of time in the same area only has seven yellow jackets. Since the bees are still swarming, I'm going to test the third style trap, the fatal funnel. You use a two liter bottle with two provided inserts. The attractant recipe for this calls for apple juice and sugar. Simply cut a slit on each side of the bottle and insert the yellow funnel clips. There's also a plastic pin sticking out on these for an optional piece of meat, which I'll borrow from my cat. Now, after a week of using the fatal funnel, I caught 53 wasps. While that sounds amazing, and it is, it didn't get rid of all of the wasps. My friend got kind of tired of me trying all these different methods and he decided to call an exterminator. Well, the exterminator came and he sprayed a dust. I wasn't there, but I'm guessing it looked something like this. He applied it with a duster, which I'm guessing looked something like this. Now, after a day or two, there were no more wasps to be seen. Now, what did I learn from all this experience with my bee friends? Out of the three traps that I tested, this one, the fatal funnel, was by far the most effective. For a serious infestation like my friend had, where you can't even see the nest, the powder seems to have done the trick. Although, I'm pretty sure I made it a lot easier for the exterminator by killing over a hundred of the yellow jackets myself. I hope some of these ideas help you and keep you from spending 250 bucks or more on an exterminator. There's also some homemade recipes that you can try, like spraying a mixture of water, dish soap, and a little peppermint oil. If you have any other suggestions or ideas, please share them with me and others in the comments section on this video. As usual, thanks for watching Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley. Thank <laughs> you.